Hey guys, what's up? This is Nanya from Tech Barrack Solutions and today in this Linux tutorial we will learn how we can install any version of Linux Mint on our personal computer running Windows. For this particular Linux tutorial we will require the ISO file of Linux Mint. Second, we will require a DVD or a pen drive. Third, we will require the personal computer itself which should be having either Windows or any Linux operating system installed on it. So let's proceed with the first step that is to get the Linux Mint ISO file. For that we need to go to linuxmint.com and over there we will have the download section. And if you guys have seen my first tutorial of basics of Linux then you might have be knowing about the various graphical user interfaces in Linux operating system and Linux Mint provides users with four different types of graphical user interface one is the mate second is the cinnamon third is the kde and fourth is the xfc now depending on your taste and liking just download the one which you like and also select the proper bit architecture i will be going for the 32 bit cpu architecture so i'll be clicking on that and i'll go for mate after that you can either download it through torrent or you could just select any one of the mirrors select the mirror which is closest to your country so let's say i'll just select one of them ran randomly and once you click on the mirrors it will start downloading once the download is complete you will have an iso file like this and this particular iso file has to be loaded up on your dvd or pen drive I'm using a bootable DVD so just put in the DVD before you start your laptop or your desktop or your netbook. Once you have put in your DVD or connected your pen drive to your personal computer you need to switch on your personal computer and make sure that the boot order settings in the BIOS settings is proper. If you are booting from the DVD, make sure DVD is on the top of the boot order list. If you are booting from the USB, make sure that USB is on the top of the boot order list. You will be seeing this particular screen where it says automatic boot in 10 seconds. You can just press on enter and you can start Linux Mint. As you can see the Linux Mint has loaded up all its files and now you can actually try using Linux Mint to get an idea of how it feels to use Linux Mint and then you can install it if you want to but we will directly proceed with the installation so just click on the install Linux Mint button and wait we are presented with a installation screen and options and it is exactly similar as the Ubuntu setup only the difference is the color so select your language and click on continue make sure that you have 6.1 GB of free space and you are connected to power source that's really very important click on continue and then it will ask you whether you want to connect to internet either wirelessly or through ethernet make sure that you do not connect I am personally saying this because it will just increase the time of installation and just waste a lot of time. You can install the updates later on by connecting to internet once your operating system is installed. Just click on continue once again. Now we are presented with a very important installation options that is either install Linux Mint alongside your windows or replace your windows completely with Linux Mint or do something else I would prefer you manually specify your partitions and click on something else because that's the best method to install any Linux operating system just click on continue and if your state is like mine I have just got one particular partition which is for my windows so I will be teaching you how you can partition your windows and then you can use the new created partition for installing Linux Mint. 
so just make sure that you select your Linux uh, Windows partition and I can easily make out by the size that is 59 GB and I have only used 7 GB of it so when you select your Windows partition just click on change and spec decrease its size so let's say I will decrease it to 30,000 GB I mean 30,000 MB not GB and then just click on OK and I will again do click on OK as you can see as soon as you decrease the size of your windows partition there's a new partition which gets created and I decreased my size of windows partition to 30,000 MB which leaves me with 29 GB of free space now this 29 GB of free space you need to create two partitions one will be a 1 GB partition so just type in 1024 and just select in the use as menu select it as swap area just scroll down just scroll down and select swap area I don't know yeah just select swap area and click on ok swap area will allow you to load up the Linux Mint files faster so it will provide you better performance that's the only purpose of swap area now we are left with totally 28 GB of free space which we will be using for our Linux Mint now the free space you just need to click on add and over there just select extended for journaling file system and select the mount point as a forward slash that's it click on ok and now just wait till it scans the disk now you can just click on install now now you need to select a time zone so I will select Kolkata and click on continue now you need to select your keyboard layout so I will be going for English US and I will again click on continue now you need to give your details for the main user so I will type in my details that is my name is Nayan Sait my computer name will be Nayan space Linux Mint and my username will be that that's Nayan and I'll have a simple password and I will select login automatically click on continue as you can see the files are getting copied so within few minutes our operating system should be installed and I will be back once it's done once the installation is complete it will ask you whether you want to continue testing or restart now click on restart now now as you can see you'll see some text and it will ask you to remove the installation DVD so just remove your DVD from your CD tray close the CD tray and press on enter now it will ask you with two options select Linux Mint or select Windows 7 so I'll go with Linux Mint 14 32 bit that's the first option second option is for safe mode as we all can see that the laptop has booted up and Linux Mint has started running on my machine so this is how you can install any version of Linux Mint on your Windows personal computer. So go ahead and try this out. If you have any issues, please message me on YouTube or just comment in the video below or even you can mail me at support at rate That's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please rate, comment, subscribe and visit techbarrack.com.